To split test your landing pages, go to Sites and either create a new landing page or choose the landing page you already created before and just click on the title of the landing page. And here we go. Now, you are in the overview area now. If you saw the overview of the landing pages video, you're familiar with this. And just click Create Split Test right over here. And now click Add Your First Version. You can choose to create a landing page from scratch, copy from original landing page, or copy from another landing page you already created. I'm going to go with the copy from original landing page, Create. And this is that original page. Now I'm just going to click Save and Publish. Of course, you would change something here, right? Uh, because if you don't, then it's not really a good uh, A-B test. And the best thing to do is change as little things as possible. Uh, so maybe one title, one button, maybe just the color of the landing page. Of course, uh, you can also compare two landing pages that are totally different. That's also something you can do. But with A-B split testing, usually what you want to go for is just one little thing. Save and Publish. And here we go. Here is version B that we just created. This is good to know that landing page testing is based on unique visitors, uh, traffic, not on page views. And here you can change the distribution of the traffic. So you can have, let's say, 30% go to the original site and 70% to the second version. But, you know, if this is a real test, you should keep it 50-50. And you can add more versions here. You can add up to five versions in total. Once you're done, just click Save. And here we go. To go back to that screen, you just click Manage Split Test or use this Split Testing tab right over here. It does the same thing. And once you're ready to start your test, just click On. Now, just remember, split testing will start immediately and can't be stopped until a winner is selected. And it's also good to know that you can only start a A-B split test uh, with your landing pages once. So if you do it once, you're not going to be able to add more. So it's good to really think things through before you actually hit this on button. And that's what I'm going to do now. Hit on. And there we go. You can edit the pages here, preview them here, change things around. And once everything is ready, just click here to turn it off. And to actually turn it off, you will need to select a winner. So let's say original landing pages was the winner. You can see how many subscribers, unique subscribers visited your uh, website, then how many views there were, and then the conversion. So how many of these, uh, how many of the people who viewed your page actually became subscribers? And then you can select. Let's let's select this. Of course, this is a demo. We have zero everywhere almost. And there we go. So after this happens, the only thing you can do with this edit button is edit this original landing page. You're not going to be able to edit the second version anymore, and you're not going to be able to create another split test anymore. But if you want to really, really create another test, what you would need to do is go ahead here, go here where you can change the name and duplicate this whole landing page and then start another test. The good thing with that is that you actually have this older landing page. You have the data saved from this test here. And when you create a new page, you can start fresh and have new data. And the same thing with the analytics here. If you click analytics, you can go ahead and click this summary and choose the analytics for the original landing page or for version B. And same thing if you have a survey in your landing page. If you go ahead and click survey report, you will see the survey for the original page and for the version B, which in this case is 00. zero. So that's everything about um, the landing pages and split testing your landing pages. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.